Stay inside during peak hours. That's the warning from health officials as the number of mosquitoes testing positive for eastern equine encephalitis, or Triple E, continues to rise. NBC Connecticut's Leslie Mays has more now from Stonington. Here in downtown Stonington, there are usually tons of people who are out and about enjoying the summer night during the dinner hour. But that is exactly the time that officials want people here and in two other Connecticut towns to stay indoors. It's all over concerns about Triple E. Well, between the ticks and the mosquitoes, um, it's a problem. In Stonington, news that a potentially deadly virus transmitted by mosquitoes was found here is causing a little worry for residents. I was kind of surprised when I saw um, saw that on the television, I guess it was this morning. And um, yes, it is concerning, absolutely. The news today, 20 mosquitoes in Connecticut testing positive for eastern equine encephalitis, or Triple E, in just the last week, more than doubling the number for the entire year. Health officials are asking people in Stonington, North Stonington, and Voluntown to stay indoors in the hours surrounding dusk and dawn to avoid peak mosquito exposure. <laughs> At dusk yesterday, crews in Voluntown sprayed to try to decrease their mosquito population. Tiffany Cook's 13-year-old son had soccer practice in Stonington cut short because of today's new warning. He told me to pick him up at 6.15 because of the EEE -E -E virus. Once I learned more about it through my son, it is more serious than I than I thought. There have been no human cases of Triple E reported in Connecticut this year, but there have been four in Massachusetts. Cook says given the severity of the symptoms that can come from the virus, including vomiting, convulsions, and coma, her family may change their habits. I think it is going to change our behavior. If they see me going outside, they're going to say, don't go outside. Doctors say Triple E is exceptionally rare in the United States, but everyone would be wise to heed the warnings to limit their mosquito exposure right now. Certainly the more mosquitoes there are, the more risk there is. But I think you, everybody should be taking precautions and if you don't need to sit outside at dusk, you probably want to avoid it right now. The last fatal case of Triple E in Connecticut was back in 2013. Doctors say those most likely to have Triple E reach their brains are people under the age of 15 and those over the age of 50. We're reporting in Stonington tonight. I'm Leslie Mays, NBC Connecticut News. An attorney for Fotis Dulos is seeking an emergency order now, trying to force prosecutors to share evidence in the case against his client. Norm Pattis says.